In Generation 6, there's three starters, but the one, the water type Greninja, takes all the spotlight. I'm going to be showcasing the other two, starting off in today's video with a Chestnut team for Regulation D. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button. Stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, we're using the grass and fighting type Pokemon, Chestnut, who I actually really like. It's super bulky on the defensive side. And this build right here actually seems pretty strong. It's got leftovers. It's got bulk up alongside body press. I feel like this Pokemon can be the real deal in Regulation D for a nice little stall support Pokemon. He's going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. He has Bulletproof as his ability, and then his other moves consist of Spiky Shield and Seed Bomb. So I'm really liking this Pokemon, and I feel like we can get a lot of usage out of him. Great typing, great move set, can really get high on that defense set and, it, and on that attack set with Bulk Up. So I feel as in certain situations, Chestnut can be the real deal. Second Pokemon on today's team is going to be Grimmsnarl. Like Clay and Prankster, cannot get much better than that. You got Light Screen, Reflect, Spirit Break, and Thunder Wave, probably the best move set for a support Grimmsnarl. In our third slot is going to be Galarian Moltres, and Galarian Moltres is going to be one of those Pokemon in Regulation D that is just going to tear it up. This one has Berserk, the Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Fire Wrath, Air Slash, Sucker Punch, and Tailwind for Speed Control. In our four slot, a great special attacker, it's Choice Specs Golden Go. We've been seeing this Pokemon since Series 1, and nothing has really changed here in Regulation D. He's still going to be here every here and there. He has good as gold, the Choice Specs as item like we already mentioned, and then Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Trick to hand over that Choice Specs onto different Pokemon. We got Fluttermane in our fifth slot, and I'm not even going to say anything about Fluttermane because it's Fluttermane. You get, it's, it's on every team, so if Fluttermane's there, you guys know plenty about it. Final Pokemon is going to be Iron Bundle, another Pokemon that I really do not want to say too much about considering you guys have seen it plenty of times, but this one's really here for nice little speed control and great special attack, and with Protect, Freeze Dry, Ice Wind, and Hydro Pump, you really can't go wrong with this Pokemon on any team. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder, let's grab some wins with this Regulation D Chestnut team. We're loading up into match number one, looking to showcase Chestnut. He's a really cool Pokemon, but like I mentioned in the beginning of today's video, he really loses a lot of spotlight to Greninja. Greninja was really the star starter in Generation 6. Delphox and Chestnut, still very cool, but at the same time, it's like, eh, are, are they really that cool compared to Greninja? And that's that's really where the problem is. They lose a lot of spotlight to it, but we lost connection already there, right there, but we're just going to reload it up, get rocking out with this, and hopefully find an opponent here. And there it is. Let's go. Let's see who we're versing here in match number one. Hopefully something Chestnut can really thrive up against because I would love to use this Pokemon and showcase it. And we're going up against, hopefully this is a viewer, right? Isn't this the exact same team I showcased yesterday? It might be. I think it's the exact same team I showcased yesterday. It is an Hisuian Arcanine team with Fluttermane, Urshifu, Shen Pao, Rillaboom, and Tornado. So this might be the team that I showcase. He might go into... Uh, Arcanine and Shen Pao as a lead and honestly this would not be bad going in the chestnut here And I kind of like it with the water typing. I can really rock out with that So I'm gonna lead chestnut and uh, alongside with that. I'm gonna go light clay with my uh With my uh Grimstone. so I'm gonna do that and I have Deli bird in the back end and then last but not least gotta rock out with Galarian Moltres Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one But chestnut's uh terror type gonna be really really good up against fire Pokemon such as Heatran and any other one like Hisuian Arcanine. So I feel as leading this Pokemon is going to be good because I kind of see them leading Shen Pao Arcanine considering I did it. So I think this might be a viewer. And I hope it's a viewer. If it is a viewer, huge shout out to them. Good luck in this match. Please don't beat, beat me. Please don't. Actually, you can if you want, but I'm going to try my hardest to stop it. But they go Tornadus and Urshifu. Okay. This is also a really good combo. Um, I could set up Reflect. Um, crits hit through, though, which is really tough. Crits hit right through. And this is the Water Urshifu. It is the water Urshifu, so I could bulk up, I could go for a spiky shield, I could just go seed bomb here, and I'm thinking I'm just thunder waving and seed bomb this thing down. That's what I'm, I kind of want to do, right? Do I do that? I think I do rip into that, because he's going to crit through me anyway, so Tailwind's going to come out here, Surgeon Strike's probably popping. Let's see, Grimstone is going to be able to paralyze first, which is big time, so we get off a nice little paralyze. He's still going to be able to outspeed me, but still, there's a chance he might not even be able to move. Which I'm hoping. I'm hoping he can't move. He's going to U-turn out. If he turns out of there, I should have uh, went for a nice little, what's it called? Bulk up there. Bulk up could have been big time. Let's see what he goes into from here. Let's see, Arcanine probably? Could be Arcanine. 
Let's see. Is it Arky? It is Arky. So I, I believe this is a team that I actually faced yesterday. So C Bomb's gonna chuck up some nice damage. I am gonna set up a reflect here. <clears throat> and I might Thrasilize into water. I think that's gonna be my play. Could actually go for bulk uh bulk up or I could go for body press. Which I'm leaning towards body press. Definitely want to terrasilize. Do I bulk up though? I'm gonna bulk up. I am indeed gonna bulk up, terrasilize into water, get those boosts, and I'm just gonna set up a reflect right here. So I'm gonna reflect. We have the Ursh Urshfu paralyzed later in the match. Okay. And I'm pretty sure that Urshfu's assault vested. I believe he's vested. If I remember this team correctly, and that Arcanine is going to be choice banded. This nice little choice band Pokemon. They already have Tailwind set up. I kind of know their team. I kind of know their team. So we're just going to play this one slow. I wish I would have bulked up last turn. But I kind of want to deal some damage on the Arcanine. Well, not Arcanine. On the Urshfu. But they're going to end up terrestrializing the Arcanine. Probably straight normal Terra. It is. Yeah, this is the exact same team I showcased. Okay, cool. So we, we, we know what they got. We know what they got. For the most part. Everything that I can rem remember. <clears throat> so we terrestrialize in, in the normal. I'm actually kind of surprised with that. And I'm going to terrestrialize in the normal. Unless you're going for E speeds. I don't really think you're going for E speeds, though. I don't really think you're going to do that. That's fine. We get off this big time reflect. Actually, E speed goes before reflect, which is wild. You're going to go after my chestnut. Ooh, ooh. Takes a nice chunk of damage there. And the sunny day now comes out here. A nice little sunny day. We're going to bulk up here as well. And I think I'm just going to spiky shield next turn. Nice little spiky shield. And then potentially just paral start paralyzing them, right? Throw some paralyzes on the field. Could be really good for us. So I get off that bulk up. I have a defense boost. I have an attack boost now. Also got leftovers cooking. Got screens up. I could set up a light screen. Um, hmm. Definitely want to go for the spiky shield here. So I'm going to spiky shield up. Uh, and I might just... Do I spirit break? Actually, let me let me light screen. Let me light screen across the board. I don't, I don't really feel like dealing with Tornadus, right? I really don't feel like dealing with that. So I'm just going to spiky shield up. I'm going to play this one slow. Try to get Chestnut bulked up. E speed's gonna come into the chestnut slots. He's gonna take some spiky shield damage, which is awesome. Spiky shield coming out here. I love me some spiky shield. Love me some spiky shield. So now light screen is here. And they're gonna go for a bleak windstorm. Cool. So light screen was a good call. And plus they're using this in the sun. It might miss, right? It should miss. Yeah, cool. I'll take it. I shall take it. So now from here, what I wanna do is probably just go for a body press to get rid of Arcanine. Correct. I think that's the correct statement. And then just go into a spirit break into Tornadus. How many turns left in Tailwind? This is a real question. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to spirit break Tornadus. It gives him a special attack drop. All that's going to be good. And we should be fine with these E speeds, right? Yeah, we soak that up all day long. All day long. Think when Storm's going to come out here. Chestnut soaks that up here as well. Big time for us. And they get a speed drop, but that's no big deal. That's no big deal. Because Chestnuts are going to take out the Arcanine. No problem. See you later. And we're gonna get off some nice damage onto this, uh, onto this Tornadus. And on top of it, get a special attack drop. That's pretty good for us. So if they don't bring out Urshfu, I'm just gonna paralyze the next Pokemon, or maybe just attack it. We'll see who it is, but nice little damage on Tornadus. And no drop? I thought it's guaranteed a drop. It's definitely Cobra Cloak, isn't it? It's definitely Cobra Cloak. Yep, it's Cobra Cloak. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. So let's see who they roll out into. It's going to be Fluttermane. So Fluttermane's going to come out here and uh, Fluttermane's a little scary. Fluttermane's definitely a little scary. And Protosynthesis is going to pop. So I'm thinking of just uh, Thunder Waving that thing down. I think I'm just trying to get back some HP. Throw a nice little Thunder Wave on the Fluttermane. Going from there. So Chestnut getting some work done. This is a nice long first match here. Looking to grab herself this win. We're going to Spiky Shield up again just to protect. I mean, they probably read it all day, and Fluttermane's probably going to get rid of Grimmsnarl all after this. But it's all good. They're going to end up tail winning. We're going to go for the Paralyze here and just try to get off of a lot of value out of Grimmsnarl, right? is just support, so we're looking to just, just value up here. So we get off some Paralyzes. We know Urshfu's already Paralyzed in the back end. And he's going to go for a Gleam. And actually, Grimmsnarl might be able to soak this up. I know his Protosynthesis produced it, but we have Light Screen now. And we don't. kind of hurts us all. <laughs> it kind of hurts us all, but it's all good. Alright, so from here, we can go into... Hmm. Who do we want to go into? Because Chestnut is not looking so hot here. He's pretty much dead to this next shot. I go for another Spiky Shield. I could go into you. With Booster Energy. To boost his speed. Do 
Can we do that? Because you can definitely outspeed Flutter me. Yeah, you definitely outspeed Flutter me. With the Paralyze on it, definitely outspeed Flutter me. So I'm going to go into my Deli Bird. Deli Deli Bird can come out here. I'm going to look to get off as much damage as I possibly can off the Flutter me. My speed is heightened. And we're just going to go for C Bomb. We're going to double down the Flutter Man here. Instead of going after the Tornadoes, we're going right after the Flutter Man. Tornadoes all, all can hit me with this Bleak Wind Storm. It is lower accuracy in the sun. Um, Still kind of scared. We do outspeed actually both of them, which is awesome. We get off some nice damage onto that thing. Bleak Wind Storm should come out here. Who's it missing? Who's it missing? It misses my Chestnut. And he's going to go for a Gleam. Are you guys both dead to that? Her soul, man. Her soul. Maybe I should have just took out Tornadas there. Maybe I should have just took out Tornadas, but we were thriving pretty good there with Chestnut early on, but now it's just we're just done for. I mean, actually, we still kind of have a shot. I'm not even lie. We still we still definitely have a shot here. Sunlight's gone. I should have just I should have wasted waited for the uh, Protosynthesis to go away. That's what I should have done. That's definitely what I should have done. One thousand percent. I bring out the Moltres. The Moltres and Fire Rats just gotta be your play. We got the Citrus Berry, we got all that good stuff. We gotta go into the Fiery Wrath. We gotta make the Fiery Wrath happen. The Bleak Wind Storm's gonna miss us big time. Big time. And you're gonna actually outspeed me. I'm dead to that, aren't I? No, oh, I eat. Hold up. Wait a minute. And you get a. Come on, man. You get a special attack drop? I wanted my special attack boost. I needed that. I pretty much needed that. That really hurts. That really hurts me. That really hurts me. Fire Rat's gonna fly here, and it's probably not gonna take out Flutter me now. Yeah, I needed that special attack boost. I needed that. I need that. So from here, I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch here. And hopefully this thing misses another Bleak Wind Storm. I don't know if it will. Sucker Punch is gonna KO. But dude, if I had that plus one special attack... Fluttermane dies there, and we have a, a better shot than what we have. The Bleak Wind Storm ends up connecting. We still have screens. We're going to get a Berserk boost here. Um, Huh. Hmm. Is it possible for me to win this? I know he's vested. I know this Urshu's vested. It is paralyzed, though. It is a paralyzed Pokemon. Air Slash, we go for some flinches. I'm going for it. It has no protect on it. I'm going for it. Stab, super effective for plus one. I get it has best. I understand. I think we can soak up one more Bleak Wind Storm. Can this Moltres clutch up? That'd be a ridiculous clutch up. I'm going for it. He goes for a Rain Dance. Rain Dance, Aqua Jet. Yeah, smart play. Be paralyzed? Nah, you're not paralyzed. I didn't get one paralyzed. We soak though. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can you KO? We don't. God, man. That attack boost did me so dirty. Now Bleak Wind Storm hits 100% of the time. The only way we win this is if, uh, if Urshfu gets paralyzed and we KO with this uh, Sucker Punch, but I don't think we can even KO with Sucker Punch. Yeah, no. We're just leaving Pokemon left and right here. Aqua Jet comes out here. That's game set match. That's tough. That's tough, man. Almost pulled off that comeback. If we had, if we did not get that special attack drop from Fluttermane, we probably would have completed the comeback, but solid match from our opponent. We're 0-1. Let's hop into our second match. Look for a victory. Loading up our second match. A little upset that we lost that last one, but hey, I feel like we got to showcase the team pretty well. Fluttermane came in the back end for our opponent, really ripped into us, but we're looking for a first win here, and we're going up against a Regilecki and Ursaloon team. Alongside with regular Typhlosion, Tornadus, Torkoal, and last but not least, they are rocking out with Amoonga. So Grimmsnarl is going to be a great Pokemon. I really like Grimmsnarl all around. I kind of want to lead it with Chestnut. I like Chestnut. I think Chestnut's a solid Pokemon. I do want to lead this Pokemon. I do like the Terror type on it as well. So if they do want to go into like the Sun Squad, that's totally fine by me. I can uh, go into that. So uh, I like its Terror type. I'm going to go Grimstone off Chestnut again. Bring in Moltres. And last but not least, do I go Delibird or do I go in with Fluttermane? Delibird's going to be solid up against a few of these Pokemon, except for Regilecki. And Fluttermane is like, can do pretty good up against Regilecki. And you know what? Maybe with the booster energy. Can you outspeed with the booster energy? You might be able to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you might be able to. Regilecki's fast, though. He's a problem. Regilecki's a problem. I'm surprised I haven't seen more Regileckis 
on the casual ladder but once uh rank comes out you're gonna see a ton of them it's just so fast it can lower speed it can hit like a truck it's a problem it's a problem but we're on one we gotta win this match right here i got you guys i got you no problem no problem you need a win i'll get you guys a win. they're gonna end up leading tornadas and amoongus moongus so moongus comes out here um snarls here uh I think we just bulk up at this point, right? I think we definitely bulk up. Terrasalize bulk up. I get down with that. Set up a light train, probably. Let's get our stats up. Reason I want Terrasalize is because Tornadus, we're not Tornadus. Uh, Chestnut is four times weak to flying moves. So if this thing wants to go into a weak one storm without Terrasalization, I'd pretty much be dead in one shot. I'm, I'm gonna go on with that. So we have to Terrasalize or Chestnut. Go into a nice little water type. Even though now he can spore me, it's just like, we, we, we have to, right? It's a must. It's a must. So he's going to end up going for a taunt. Guess what? It doesn't affect me. I'm dark type. So I just waste some time. We go for a nice lovely light stream. And we'll see what he wants to go into from here. Get off a nice lovely bulk up. I might even bulk up again next turn. I might just do it. I might just do it. Let's press spore. This spores my little Pokemon. I think I might go for another bulk up here. I just might. I just might. We have Light Screen off. Uh, I love the Thunder Wave this thing down. Actually, I'd rather Spirit Break at this point. And I could just go for a Body Press. It's not going to do much. I could just Spiky Shield. I mean, honestly, I am going to Spiky Shield here. Just to waste out these turns of sleep. I'll spiky shield, see what he wants to do here. I really don't want to swap out my chestnut. And he's going to go for a taunt in me. So, body press is going to be removed. There's no need to waste a turn here. He's going for taunts. So, let's see what Amoongus does. This Pokemon's kind of annoying. He's going to try to spore me down. Like, oh, God, it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. It's going to be annoying. I might just swap out my Tornadus at this point and go into... Go into you, right? Or even Deli Bird with Freeze Dry. Yeah, let's go Deli Deli here. Let's go Deli Deli, because he's put me to sleep. I'm going to go for a body press to do as much damage as I possibly can over onto Amoongus, because he's he's got to go, right? Amoongus got to go. This thing's just going to spore me left and right. It's just going to be a problem. We bring out the Deli Bird, and his name's Rowdy, which is hilarious. we get Rowdy here. Can we Cork Drive up. My speed's boosted. Let's see what they're going into. He's gonna withdraw the moves right when I right when I swap into a Pokemon to, to deal with that thing. Ursaluna comes out here. I actually don't mind Ursaluna. Body press can do some nice damage onto him, and he ends up still taunting. Me. So we're attacking. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with this. Body press gonna chuck up some nice damage on this thing. Oh yes, sir, Chestnut, sir. Yes, sir, Chestnut, sir. Flame Orb's gonna be boosted. Um, we're fine here. I mean, Icy Wind is probably our play just because. How slow are you? Chestnut, you gotta be pretty slow, right? 84. Ursuline is probably slower. I'm not gonna lie. But Icy Wind, Icy Wind can get the work done. So I'm gonna Icy Wind, and I'm just gonna stick with my body press and go into the Tornado slot. So Icy Wind will KO the Ursuline. It will chunk up some nice damage on the Tornadus. Get a speed drop. Maybe Chestnut can KO with that. We are plus one on defense. So I like where we're sitting. Bad swap from him. But I like the idea. Link Wind Storm comes out here. Chunking up some damage on me. Leave me alone. Getting speed drops on me now. Chill on me. Tornadus is ordered. It is ordered. The body press still K. Oh, and let's go. Chestnut ripping in match number two. We love it. We love it. So from here, I could lower uh, our opponent's speed again with Ice Wind, but it might not even be worth it. it. Might just be more worth it for me to just throw an attack move, especially uh, with up against Amoongus. I'd rather just hit Amoongus with a freeze try, right? Tired of dealing with sleeps, man. We still have Moltres in the back end, which is beautiful, lovely. I'm really curious to see who his final Pokemon is. Typhlosion. Ooh. Luckily, we're Water type. Luckily, we are Water type. But yo, Typhlosion looks sick. <laughs> he looks awesome. Look at his flames just jolting up. Looking absolutely amazing. I could Hydro Pump it, but I do want to go into this. And you know what? I'm just going to go into a body person in this slot. I'd rather just freeze try the Moongus, right? He should be able to KO. But he's going to Terrasalize his Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be Typhlosion, right? No shot, it's the Moongus. Yeah, it's going to be Typhlosion. Straight fire? Straight fire. Straight fire going into. Like most Typhlosions do. But still, my Chestnut should be able to eat up whatever he has to offer. 
and he's just gonna reach powder shots. So I think free shot with KOs to reach powder is kind of a waste of a turn. But I understand where he's coming from. Oh, we do not KO. He's bulking. We do get a freeze though. We like we like freezes. We like we like a big old freeze. So eruption comes down here. That's scary. We still have light screen. Uh, Deli Bird's definitely dead to that. But Chestnut soaks like wow. I gotta look at your stats, man. This thing's actually really bulky on the special defense side. Really bulky. A bit too bulky. He's so bulky. I'm liking him. I'm liking his bulk. Real bulked. He's a bulky boy. It is protein bars. It is protein shakes. He's bulking up. If I finally shake off the taunt, I'm still just gonna body press. We still have Grimstar, but let me just see your stats, man. 120. You have a solid, solid special defense stat. And we have 165 defense, though. And we're plus one. This thing's really good on the defensive side. So now I bring out the Moltres. Oh, I forgot we had Light Screen, too. I totally forgot Light Screen was out and about. But from here, Fiery Wrath should KO. I'm just gonna go into that, and I'm just gonna body press the Typhlosion. So, Amoongus stays frozen solid. That's what you get. That's what you get for putting me to sleep earlier. The Eruption's gonna fly. So we'll be fine soaking it up due to Light Screen. And we sh should say GG here, right? Fire Wrath picks up the KO on the Moongus, correct? Deals some damage on Typhlosion, and I think Body Press can get rid of this, uh, this Typhlosion. I'm a hope. I'm a hope. And so Body Press comes out, and there it is. Like I said, he's super bulked up on defense. Body Press is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are 1-1. One one. Let's go grab ourselves a winner record in match number 3. Final match on its way. Let's grab ourselves a winner record. We're sitting one and one. Had a great match in the last one, but now we're going up against a dreaded Trick Room team. And this team looks insanely powerful. It looks like a big time problem for me, but you know what? Moltres is going to be a solid lead for us, especially up against the Psychic types. And same thing, it's going to be super effective onto them. So, pretty good. So, we're going to go in with that. I could also lead Chestnut. I mean, Chestnut's not too bad. It's really bulky, especially up against some of their big attackers. Like King Gambit and Ursaluna. I do like Chestnut. So I'm going to go Chestnut. I am going to go in with Moltres. So they're going to be my two lead. Um, Gold. I could. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold up. We're going Gold to go. We're going Gold to go for a lead. I love to just pop a Make It Rain and get after it that way. Could be really good. Actually. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta bring Grimstar home. You know, lock it in, lock it down. I'm not I'm not trying to overthink this one. I'm not trying to overthink this one. So I'm just gonna lock in the Pokemon that I think are gonna be good. Because once I clicked the three Pokemon that I wanted, I was like, actually, Grimstar is really good up against Trick Room teams because setting up the screens early on allows you to actually kind of waste out the Trick Room turns. But I just don't want to overthink it. I don't want to swap it, bring Grimstar in for lead, just mess everything up. I think going in with some hyper offense here is gonna be good for us. And perfect. This is Perfection. I like it. I like it. Make it rain can pop. Fiery wrath can pop. I can get down with this. I can get down, 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 baby. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I am scared of the uh, how to range just terrestrializing. A little bit of an issue, but I think we could be good. So I'm just going to pop a nice little fiery wrath here, and I'm going to terrestrialize, and I'm throwing a make it rain across the board. Choice spec, stab, terror type, and a steal. I'm all about it. Like I said, I didn't want to overthink this one. I think just going hyper offensive up against these Stricken users, especially with two Pokemon that could double attack, really good for us. Let's see what they do, because I know they're in a weird position where it's just like, what do I do? I know I'd be in that same spot. Because for the most part with this team, you can legit just lead the two Pokemon that they led in DD and Hatterene, hit that follow me button, and pretty much set up a free trick. So, if they're not... Uh, if they're not Terrasalize Hatterene, Hatterene's dead. Same thing with Indeedee, right? They're pretty much both dead if they don't Terrasalize. And if I had to guess, Hatterene's got to Terrasalize and it's like a water typing or something. They do not. They do not Terrasalize Hatterene. Hatterene is a goner. They just double protect. Okay. I guess they want to feel it out. That's fine. That's fine. Why not double protect him? I mean, it could be no reason not to just do this again. I mean, unless they hard swap into Gambo. A little bit of an issue, but still. As long as they don't get off Trick Room, I think I'm cool with this, right? So I'm going to pop the Fire Wrath, and I'm just going to keep clicking, make it rain. 
you gotta swap or terrestrialize at this point now. You don't you don't throw a protect and deal out what we're going for and not and just not do anything about it, right? So they're gonna do something here. I think they terrestrialize the Hatterene. And maybe just swap a DD. I think they swap a DD for King Gambit and then terrestrialize the Hatterene. We'll see. We shall see. Cause like I said, they're in a weird spot, a tough spot. And that was actually a really good play by our opponent to just double protect, deal everything out. And there's a swap of Indeed. Like I said, it should be swap Gan into Gambit and then Terrasize Hatterene. Uh, am I a genius? Torkoal, okay. Torkel. Should I get rid of Hatterene? And there's Terrasize So maybe they didn't have Gambit. Torkoal's not a bad option to swap. But again, we just can't allow them to get off Trickle. So let's see what typing they go into. It'll be straight Psychic. And I mean, Fire Wrath's now super effective. But I think we just get rid of this. I think we're in a really good position here. Because Maker Range should be able to take out Hatterene, no problem. Should be able to finish that one up. Clean that up, no problem, right? Oh my god, no must take out the Torkoal. That's game set match. We're, we're, this is no problem. It's a no problem win right here. Come on, man. This is too easy. This is too easy. That was actually a really good lead for us. And we're probably not going to showcase Chestnut in this battle, but... It's all good. We showcased it in the first and the second match really, really well. This one I feel as we're just going to clean up a lot with the Pokemon that we have on the field. So from here, I am just going to go for a Fiery Wrath and just pop a Maker Main. I really do think it'll cancel. <laughs> I don't know. I just have a weird feeling. We should get a one-turn sweep or two turns considering they protect it. But yeah, they have no Terra now. I don't really see him surviving a lot of shots. Indeed, he lost his special defense boost from the Psychic Seeds by swapping out. Torkoal's on 1 HP. Might be a perfect sweep. We have a chance to perfect sweep here. If you guys do not know what a perfect sweep is, it's when you do not lose Pokemon, but you also do not lose any HP. We have a chance for that. It doesn't happen often because a lot of times people cancel matches. But we have a chance. We have a, we have a perfect sweep chance with the Chestnut Squad. Let's see, they can't really do much. I think they're just trying to think of ways they can like get around this, but this combo is strong. <laughs> this is a lot of damage coming out of here. A lot of damage output on two of these. The fire ass flying here. We need we need Golden Go, even though he's minus one to take out Indeed here. For the perfect sweep chance. We're going for perfect sweep chance. Make it rain coming out here. Good choice spec. Come on, pick up KO. My man. My man. They're definitely going to cancel, so we're not going to get perfect sweep, but still, we are just killing it. We are killing it. That's how you deal with trick or treat. Just bomb them. Just, just get after them. Hyper offensive. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Because it's so easy now to set up trick or treat nowadays. I feel like the only way around it is just hyper offensive bombing, right? Because you can't taunt it really anymore because most of the time they're rocking mental herb. You can't fake it out because they got covert cloak. There's just a lot of ways to get off trick nowadays. They got follow me. You got the psychic terrain to stop first turn priority moves. Just a lot. There's just a lot. So hyper offensive is probably like one of the better ways, but most teams don't rock it. It's tough. Trick room's a, trick room's a tough customer to play up against, especially with a lot of teams. I think if you're not rocking with hyper offensive Pokemon, trick room's very easy. To set up and just uh steam with your opponent but that's gonna be the match i i, I don't i think our opponent might have <laughs> canceled this game like because i don't know why they're taking such a long time to pick the final pokemon like you only have one choice you only have one choice and i'm going to rip into it it's gonna be ursa luna ursa luna and the real question is can we get the perfect sweep i'm gonna go for the flinch here gotta stick with make a rain don't cancel. Let me get. Let me at least get a chance on the, on the perfect sweep, right? You gotta give me a chance on it. Cause if they cancel the match, you do not get the perfect sweep because you didn't finish the battle. You get the sweep, but you don't get the perfect sweep. Perfect sweep is you gotta KO all four, lose no HP. So we're hoping our opponent just stays in here, hangs out a little longer. But the thing is, I don't think we can KO Ursaluna without taking damage here. I don't think we can unless we get a flinch. That's why they go for the air slash. Lovely little air slash. Hmm. Looking for it. Can this guy, can this, this person make a move? Gene's got places to be. Tick, tick. 
Gene's got Gene's got to upload this video. <laughs> He's got to upload this video for you guys. <laughs> tick tick. Box is ticking. Well, Air slash coming out here. How much damage are you doing? Yeah, I don't think we're KOing Ursa Luna. Can you get a crit? If he gets a crit, we do. We can't get the perfect sweep. Flinch him. Flinch him. Flinch him. Give me the flinch. For the perfect sweep. No, the perfect sweep's gone. The perfect sweep is gone. It is gone. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to rip into this thing with an air slash. I'm just going to go for a make it rain. Our opponent's taking 10 years to actually place a move, so I think he's just like... I think his controller's down. I'm not even going to lie. I think they use all 60 seconds. I think they do. That is wild. I, I, I really think our opponent is using all 60 seconds. I think the controller's down. And it's just auto-picking. Because it makes sense. It took a while to throw out the Pokemon. Then Facade's usually the top move on, on uh, Ursaluna. Probably took 60 seconds just automate it, picked it. And same thing's going to come in from here, but... My girl Moltres over here going to slap up on this Ursaluna. Night, night. We'll get the sweep. But no perfect sweep. Golden Go took a tad bit of damage. I wish I would have got a perfect sweep. I don't think I got one in Scarlet and Violet yet. It take it, it's a tough, it's a tough customer for perfect sweep. I think I have like two one in my belt and sword and shield. They're tough to come by, but when you get it, you're like, oh yeah, perfect sweep. Oh yeah, you, you get very excited. But Air Slash is gonna actually miss, which is crazy. And make remains gonna finish this one off. So two and one for today's video. We lose the first match. We make it up to you guys by winning the second and third match. Ladies and gentlemen, I got you guys. Winning record, 2-1. Absolutely rocked out with this Chestnut team in today's video. Got to showcase Chestnut in match number one and match number two, being an absolute bull and just taking out opponents left and right with body press. The rest of the team was phenomenal. You had Grimstarl for support, and then everybody else was a big-time attacker. Moltres, Golden Go, Iron Bundle, and Fluttermane. Awesome team all around. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.